Good morning. Today I would like to show you an easier way to wash and clean your vegetables and fruit from your garden. I'm going to show you how we made a vegetable washing machine for home. Keep watching and we'll show you how we did this. So last week I was out here and at the end of the week after I've eaten out of the garden I still have kale left and I come out here and I harvest it. I ended up with a pretty good bunch of it and I've been spending a lot of time in the kitchen rinsing the kale off and preparing it either for a meal or for food storage. It was taking me half an hour to 45 minutes to rinse off all of the kale, make sure I had all the bugs off of it, and to rinse off the BT that we use. I got to thinking there's got to be an easier way to do this. I started to look around and found some market garden videos where they have a bubbler set up and they clean all of their fruits and vegetables with air and water. And they were using a jacuzzi air pump to do it. Air pumps are $75 to $150 depending on what you get. And I wanted to do this as cheaply as possible. We got to thinking about what we already had on hand that we might be able to use. And ended up deciding that we would try our shop vac. We have a shop vac that has the ability to be a blower. Well, I've got this uh, contraption built. I ended up using inch and a half pipe, a shop vac with blower that we already had, several fittings, a reducer, and a 55 gallon barrel that we already had. The manifold fits down into the bottom of the barrel. It took me less than 30 minutes to assemble this manifold. I haven't glued it yet and it doesn't appear that it actually needs to be glued. I'll take it apart and show you all the pieces that I used and give you a rough dimension for each of the cuts. Your barrel is not going to be the exact same dimensions if you build one of these. So you'll need to test fit things and take measurements before you get started. So far we've used our vegetable washing machine to clean kale, cabbage, beet leaves, broccoli leaves, some heads of cabbage, and I pulled out six carrots just to see how it would do and it really did a good job. Five minutes in the tank and everything was clean. So far it works great. I don't know the longevity of the system with this shop vac hooked to it. I will do an update video at some point when I have the stand built, the uniseal in, and share with you our thoughts on it and how it has worked out for us. But when it's available, be sure to check that out. All right, now here's the manifold pulled out of the barrel and all of this is made out of the inch and a half PVC. I have four elbows on here. I have two T's and one cap. I did buy all of the inch and a half PVC. It comes in a 10 foot section. It is much cheaper to buy it in the 10 foot section than the two foot section. Price breakdown of everything you see here. And oh, I did not show you the coupler. That is a rubber coupler and it has hose clamps on it. This is where I attach the hose from the shop vac to the manifold. The hose on our shop vac has an inside dimension of two inches so this is a two inch to inch and a half coupler. That coupler was five dollars and twenty four cents. 
the elbows no let me start with the tees i'll go down my list there are two of these tees and they were two dollars and forty cents each for a grand total of 480. i have four elbows inch and a half elbows they're a dollar 86 a piece i think we got these at home depot for a total of seven dollars and 44 cents the inch and a half pvc we bought in the 10 foot length and it was five dollars and 13 cents the one single cap that I have on here is a dollar fourteen, and the grand total for all of the parts plus the extra PVC that we have left over was twenty three dollars and seventy five cents. Now we already had the barrel and we already had a shop vac. I looked on Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist, and I found it, and I found food grade barrels, plastic fifty five gallon, for anywhere from ten to twenty dollars. We looked at a shop vac at Home Depot. They're more expensive there. Lowe's had one that would be suitable and comparable to what I'm running already. And it was a shop vac brand and it was $60. I just looked on Harbor Freight. They have, again, the similar shop vac to what we're currently using. It is $50 and they have a 20% off coupon this weekend. Today is July. 14th if you're watching this after July 14th of course they frequently have coupons and that would bring your total to $40 for a shop vac from Harbor Freight if you got a $40 shop vac you could build this same system for less than $100 if you bought the shop vac at Lowe's and all the same prices on everything here and a $20 barrel you would expect to spend about $104 roughly. Let me break this apart to show you cut lengths and I'll turn the camera back on. These are going to be just rough measurements. Your barrel is probably not going to be the exact same barrel as we have, so your measurements are going to need to be different. There are two lengths of pipe here, here and here, and for us, we're at 11 inches. It's a little bit long. Our manifold is a little bit long. It doesn't fit down in the barrel very well. I'm probably going to recut these at 10 and 3 quarters. And there are two of those. This pipe here is the one with a cap. It goes in the T and in the center there. That one piece is 11 and 3 quarter inches long. Again, this was pretty tight in there. And if I cut these two sides down, I'm going to need to cut this one in equal distance. I'm going to take a half inch off of this one. I'm probably going to take three quarter inch off of this one. So this one will end up being 10 inches with the cap on it. These sections here, there's one, two, three, four of them. And all four of those we cut at five and a half inches. The pipe here, we ended up cutting it at 28 inches and I picked that number just because it gets it up and out of the barrel. Look for an update video to this in a couple of weeks. We are going to add a bulkhead terminal, a uni seal to it and the ability to drain the tank and I'm also going to build a pretty simple stand to put that barrel on. If you can help me out, please rate this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're washing your vegetables in a different way, something that is easier and cheaper to do, I would love to hear from you. I am always open to newer and better ways to do things. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.